What's up, dolly lovers? This is Gypsy from Broken Barbie TV, and you're watching Fly Dolls, which is our series where we review doll fashion packs. Today we're going to check out these two fashion packs by Mattel, which I picked up at my local Walmart, but you can probably find it online at a few different places, and I'll try to leave you a link in the description bar so you can find it somewhere online. First we have Jackson wearing this one piece outfit. The outfit is a one piece, it's a dress. And on the top part there are prints of a saddled horse. The bottom piece is basically like a ruffled skirt. The back of the outfit, well the skirt is plain, but the horse print goes all the way around. The front and the back, and it's sleeveless with a blue collar to match the skirt portion and the top and bottom are separated with white ribbon. The outfit does open with velcro in the back but you can't really see it because her book bag is covering it. So this was the accessory that was included with this outfit pack. And even though the flap opens it doesn't lead anywhere because the bag is not designed so that you can put things inside of it. Okay, goodbye Jackson. Siji is wearing the other outfit that came with this pack. This outfit has way more pieces. It's a three piece outfit. So you've got the jacket that goes on the outside with pink trim, gold and white. And of course the B stands for a Barbie. What else would it stand for? And then you've got the horseshoe and the star and the heart. This is what the back looks like. The jacket is meant to be worn open. Underneath we have a tank top. It's supposed to look like a halter top because the straps are see-through and it's cinched right at the chest, light pink. The top opens with velcro at the back and the same goes for the pants. According to the packaging, the outfits are supposed to go on your regular body type dolls so I wouldn't risk stretching or breaking the seams by trying this outfit onto your curvy Barbies. The pants go all the way down to her ankles and it's just a simple checkered design in red, shades of red. And then the shoes are like some little ankle boots with lots of buckles on it. Just plain white. And of course the design is one that we've already seen. So it's nothing new. The shoes are supposed to fit high heel style feet. And the accessory that she is rocking is this headband. It's a metallic gold color with a little star on the side. And it's a slippery thing. So you kind of have to play around with it. And it's not going to fit every head size of your Barbies. Going to have to get creative to figure out which dolls it'll fit nicely. Drop a line in the comments. Which of these two outfits did you guys like better? Next we have Judith and she is wearing one of the outfits from the other fashion pack. So this is a two piece and the top basically has like a mesh thing going on and the middle has an orange stripe, this is a white and orange color scheme and the back of the top opens with velcro. Her skirt also opens completely in the back with velcro and it's got somewhat of a fringe kind of thing going on at the hemline if you look closely and there are a lot of geometric shapes in the pattern with bright colors and on the waist of her skirt it says goals 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 let's take a closer look at her clutch purse it's lime green and it's got a really cute little triangular buckle it's just a solid plastic piece so you can't open it up. Judith has on the shoes that came with this outfit pack. So her shoes are solid black and they're like a wedge boot style. Lots of textures going on and a very intricate design it looks like. The shoes are made to fit high heel styled feet. What did you guys think of Judith's outfit? Enid here is wearing the last outfit and she is rocking a very simple look. It's just a one piece. It's a mini dress and 
I heard some people referring to this as like the dashiki dress. I don't know. It feels more like a jersey style. It's got the numbers 59 in the front, which reminds me of like athletic wear. And it does have a very tribal kind of print going on with lots of colors. I like the collar, the way that it's cut. This dress is very stretchy and it fits quite nicely on my curvy doll. However, keep in mind that Enid is articulated, so her body type is not quite as wide as the fashionista curvy dolls are. And the accessory that she is wearing that came with this outfit is the purple sunglasses, which are opaque so you, you can see through it a little bit and the outfit opens in the back with velcro tell me in the comments what you guys thought of these outfits each pack was about eight dollars at walmart but i'll leave you a link for where you might be able to find it online follow us on instagram for updates and make sure you're subscribed okay have a dolly day